Okay, so we start our last session of presentations by young researchers of the 14th ALGA. And uh, it's a pleasure to introduce Josne Novakowski from USP, who will speak on reduction of local uniformization to the rank one. Thank you. Uh, uh, in this short talk, I'm gonna report on my joint work with Mark Spivakowski uh, on the reduction of local uniformization to the rank one case. Only now I realize that I traveled on time a little bit here, so yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I'll try to make this talk uh, as uh, self-contained as possible, so I'll present the definitions of the basic objects. Uh, and local uniformization essentially is something about valuation. So I'll define that, especially because I'm trying to talk in a more general context than valuations usually appear. So uh, here, uh, valuations will be on a local Neter uh, on an Ethereum ring, R, I always assume commutative and with unity, and gamma to a totally ordered abelian group. So evaluation is only a mapping that takes R to gamma infinity, where gamma infinity is gamma with a um, symbol infinity with the extension of order and addition as usual, with the following properties. So nu of A, B is nu of A plus nu of B for every A and B on the ring. Uh, the uh, this triangular inequality that says that nu of A plus B is greater or equal than nu of A and nu of B, uh, than the minimum of these two values for every A and B. And here there is a slight difference as the usual that here we assume that the support of nu, that is all the elements that are taken to the infinity, to the infinity, is a minimal prime ideal. So if we are talking about a domain, this would mean that nu of A is uh, infinity if and only if uh, a, a, a is equal to zero. So uh, local uniformization was introduced by Zariski. Uh, essentially, it's just a form of resolution of singularities in a local settings, and this local is a long evaluation. So why did Zariski introduce that? Because it's known that the Zariski topology is quasi-compact. And every time that I find a local uniformization for one valuation, automatically I find a local uniformization in an open neighborhood of this valuation. Hence, I can take a, full, a covering. Since this space is quasi-compact, I can extract a sub, uh, finite sub-covering. Hence, we only have to f glue these finitely many solutions. So he was, uh, this was his approach. So it was two steps. The first is to prove local uniformization, and then glue these finitely many solutions. So Zariski proved well, way back in the 1940s that uh, local uniformization uh, holds for valuations over a field of characteristic zero. And he did this gluing for low dimensions, dimensions two and three. Uh, it's well known that in 1964, Hironaka proved the resolution of singularities in characteristic zero for any variety. Uh, but the case of positive characteristics not known, the best results are Abiancar in 1960s. He proved uh, dimension two and dimension three under certain conditions. That is this condition on the characteristic of the field. And recently, Cosart and Pilton, they proved the resolution of singularities for dimension three um, independently of the characteristic. Both of these work, works use uh, Zariski's approach. However, for dimension greater than three, it's not known, uh, it, neither problem is solved, nor local uniformization, near local, local uniformization, nor resolution of singularities. So the problem that I'm gonna talk, talk here is only about local uniformization, not only this local version along valuations. And what I'm gonna talk is the reduction to the rank one valuations. That is this, uh, my joint work with Spivakovsky. First we take evaluation on a field. So this valuation uh, here, uh, this valuation will be on a field. So in general, we'll take evaluation, a uh, local domain, an evaluation that is centered in this local domain. And this valuation is uh, dominate the ring or the centered. That's mean only that R is dominated by this local ring. That is the evaluative, uh, evaluation ring of the valuation given there. So now I have to tell you quickly what is the local uniformization. For us, we will simplify because the main point of local uniformization is that we can bring to a very local settings. Hence, we can talk about local rings. Essentially, these local rings are the local rings of points of the variety. So evaluation centered in a local domain is said to do uh, admit local uniformization if there exists a regular local domain of that form, I uh, add finitely many elements of the valuation ring to this ring and I localize at the center of the valuation. And the center is nothing more than the uh, intersection of the maximal ideal with this ring. 
So this is what we are trying to obtain. But what we do is the reduction. So now we have to consider a category. And the category that we are dealing with uh, first is the category of all notary and local domains. And then I don't want to prove that it's known that it cannot, uh, local uniformization cannot hold for this whole category, for valuation centered of any elements of this category. So I have to take a subcategory that is, has some minimal conditions. And these minimal conditions are that they are closed under taking homomorphic images and localized not finite, finitely generated by rational extensions at the prime ideal. So, with this such category, we can prove that if every, uh, for every ring that I take on the, this category, and every rank one valuation centered at the, this object, if for this context local informization holds, then all the valuation centered at objects of this category admit local uniformization. So, as one can see, we are assuming the case one, the, the n equals one. So we are gonna do uh, induction on the rank. So the idea is that given evaluation, I can always decompose of higher rank higher than one. I can always decompose it between two valuations. Either of them have, the, uh, both of them have uh, rank smaller than the given valuation. However, these valuations, new one and new two, they are not, uh, well, new one is in the same, uh, uh, the same field, but it's centered in a slightly different ring. That is, there is a center of the valuation that is nothing more than the intersection of the maximum idea of the valuation in R. And then this valuation new one is centered at R localized at P. And the valuation new two is a valuation on the residue field of the valuation new one and the center is R modulo P. So what we are gonna, what we did, we take, well we have these valuations new one, new two, we assume by induction hypothesis since they have a smaller rank, that they admit local uniformization. The first step is to lift these local uniformizations al along new one to local uniformizations along new, uh, sorry, blowing ups or whatever you wanna call those uh, morphisms, to new. Since, hence we can assume that this RP is regular. Now we do the same with the valuation, the local uniformization of new two and we can lift it to V, uh, to new, and with that we can assume both are regular. So this is why we, where we use the assumption of rank one, this induction step, and then we want to do, obtain, blow up a little more to obtain that R is regular or an extension of R is regular. To do so we take a regular system of parameters of RP, a regular system of parameters of R modulo P, lift them, add more elements to generate the maximum ideal, and then we try to eliminate the relations by blowing up this ring. So this is the case for domain. Uh, now we wanted to do a more general result for any rings. You remember that before I took a category of all local domains, what about the case when uh, these rings might not be domains, that they might have, uh, for instance, new potent elements, so equivalent if we are dealing with uh, reduced varieties. So there we have already to start by uh, making a slight, uh, some changes because then we don't have a domain, we don't have the quotient field to consider the valuation there. So we take an element that does not belong to the support of new, meaning that the valuation does not take infinite value in it, and you take any elements so there before we had elements A1 to AR that belong to the uh, valuation ring. So now we have to simulate that. So we have to have that the valuations of A1 are greater than B. So if it would be in the domain case, these elements would be A1 divided by B. So then, okay, we have to consider hence the localization at this B. But then to do so we have to consider, uh, we have to module out something because there might, this is the natural, the canonical map might have some elements or the annihilator of powers of B might not be zero. So we take that, so then what we do, we consider an extension of that, that form. We take R modulo out by this uh, JB, that is the kernel of that map, and then we can add these fractions. And then with that I can extend evaluation, hence we'll have a center, we localize at the center, and we obtain uh, this R1. So this is what we'll call local blowing up along this ideal. So this is the type of surgeries that we'll make in this ring in order to try to obtain local uniformization in this more general context. But again, 
we cannot expect only, uh, well, here for sure, we have to module out by the radical to obtain the reduced ring and expect that to be regular. We cannot expect that ring itself after blowing up will become regular. But we want more. We want that this uh, expect of, uh, that this uh, exp extension there will be normally flat. So what does normally flat means is that all this module, and there me it stands for the new radical, are, are reduced free modules for every n. But since we are dealing with Netherian rings, there is always an, uh, an M0 such that these powers here are always zero after a finite, uh, some finite, after this M0. Hence, this condition up there is equivalent to find fi uh, the freeness of these finitely many modules. So now we can state what does local uniformization mean in this context. For a ring like that, evaluation is said to admit local uniformization if there is a blowing up of that that form, such that not only uh, R reduced is regular after blowing up, but also that this flatness, con normally flatness condition holds. So that's what we want to do. And again, we want to prove the equivalent result as before here. So we have the category of all Noetherian local rings now, and we have again a subcategory with such properties, and we can prove again that Again, if every rank one valuation center that these objects admit local uniformization, then all the valuations admit local uniformization. A uh, quick description of the steps of the proof. The proof consists of th three main st steps. The first step is uh, to blow up, give one blow up, such that after this blowing up, this ring uh, on, will have only one associated prime ideal. Essentially because we are taking a po point, so there will be many uh, components that are irrelevant. So we just blow up to eliminate these components. The second step is the equivalent of what we did for the domain case. That is blow up a little more in order to obtain the regularity of such a ring. So that would be the second step. And the third step would be, since we have already achieved the regularity of the ring, we have to have the normal flatness of this, uh, this map there. So we do a third step in order to obtain uh, such a uh, condition. So that's it, and these are the uh, two papers that were referred to both.